Chapter 1290. Do you accept credit? It was naturally impossible for MP Rinvast Universe to come up with these compensation rates. He simply didn't have the mood or temperament to do so. Rather, these odds were arranged by a world king powerhouse within Vast Universe Heavenly Palace who was responsible for managing the sect's internal affairs. Vast Universe Heavenly Palace had a trillion disciples and the amount of resources they consumed was astronomical. They certainly had to look for chances to gain resources when possible. The monster prince simply wouldn't respect an ordinary world king powerhouse, because in future, his achievements would certainly surpass becoming a world king powerhouse. In addition, he had much stronger world king powerhouses in his background. Even on this journey here, he had great world king powerhouses of the monster race accompanying him. Thus he spoke bluntly, even mocking Lin Ming and June Blue Moon. One of the disciples helping to manage vast universe heavenly palace as gambling house heard the monster prince call their compensation rates mentally of and coldly said, you need to speak in a far more polite and humble manner. The odds that our vast universe heavenly palace have arranged are not for the likes of you to question. The disciple himself was a divine transformation powerhouse. Since he was a disciple of vast universe heavenly palace, he certainly wasn't an ordinary divine transformation realm powerhouse, but an outstanding young elite. But facing this person, the monster prince didn't fear him at all. He laughed and said, what a crowd of inexperienced nobodies that have never seen the great world. To think that you all would actually put me on par with a low and debased human. I can't be bothered to talk nonsense with you humans. I will bet 39 sun jades on myself to win. As the monster prince spoke he tossed out 30 fist sized 9 sun jades. He was an extremely arrogant individual. If others were going to put him at such low odds then he would simply bet on himself to win. 9 sun jades were objects that were refined by a half step empty rin or above. They took the essence of a violent sun crystal and then fused together 9 different kinds of yang energy, finally refining this specialized anti stone. A nine sun jade was equal to 100 million violet sun crystals, or a trillion violet sun stones. When Lin Ming had won a boundless world pill at an auction, he spent a total of 7 trillion violet sun stones to do so, the same as 7 nine sun jades. But this monster prince had easily tossed out 39 sun jades in a single go to bet on himself. It could only be said that the disparity in influences was too great. Lin Ming had originally participated in the auction with ordinary world king holy lands. To put it in other words, he had competed for the boundless world pill against disciples of ordinary world king holy lands. The genius's disciples of ordinary world king holy lands, such as Zong Wenshu, the three prodigies of sacred martial mansion, and others, fell far short of being comparable to Wu Final Cloud. To them, transferring seven trillion violet sun stones was past their limit. How could those types of characters possibly compare with a monster prince, someone who came from an empirin level influence? If this monster prince randomly took out a hair, it would be thicker than Zong Wenshu's thigh. It could be imagined that something like a boundless world pill was far too luxurious to the likes of Zong Wenshu, but also unworthy of being mentioned for someone like the monster prince. It was likely he had even better resources. Do as you will. We do not forbid participants from joining in on the gambling house bets. But, that's provided you have the ability to follow up with what you believe in. If you want to deliver us your nine sun jades then we can't be happy enough. The vast universe heavenly palace disciple sneered. Hehe. <laughs> Are you humans always so confident? You seem to have forgotten that the disciple of your vast universe heavenly palace was miserably beaten up by me. If you want to lose out so badly then I'll put fifteen nine sun jades on me taking first place and the other fifteen nine sun jades on me reaching the top three. Although the monster prince was arrogant, he wasn't stupid enough to kill himself with his own words. His odds were the same as Lin Ming's. His odds of being first place were 1 to 7 and his odds of being in the top 3 were 1 to 3. In other words, as long as he could rank in the top 3 then he would still bring back 69 sun jades for a net profit. The monster prince was confident he could reach the top 3. In this case, making this bet would earn him face but also win him some 9 sun jades. Really, this is what they mean when they say that you can escape an untoward act of heaven, but you cannot escape the evil of your own sins. Lin Ming coldly sneered. While he didn't know what the limits of the monster prince's strength were, he knew that Dragon Fang and June Blue Moon were being seriously underestimated, as well as himself. While one could see another's cultivation and foundation, it was impossible to determine another person's hidden cards as well as the limits of their true strength. Even the empty rins couldn't do that. All of these ten geniuses were masters, each of them crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Even if Lin Ming didn't favor Shaku, he wouldn't underestimate him either. This person duo cultivated in body and energy and had to have had some massive lucky chance. It was likely he would be some dark horse. What did you say? The monster prince's eyes were icy as he gave Lin Ming a deathly glare. I said, you cannot escape the evil of your own sins. Lin Ming calmly repeated himself. Before, the monster prince had clearly ignored polite protocol and had mocked Lin Ming, treated him with complete disdain. Lin Ming naturally wouldn't allow himself to be bullied and swallow such an insult. Just who the hell do you think you are that you can't insult someone like me? The monster prince traced his spatial ring as if he wanted to fight. Fighting is forbidden in the contestant area. If you do, you will lose all qualifications to continue in the tournament. If you wish to fight each other then do so on the arena stage. The vast universe heavenly palace disciple coldly said. The monster prince's face darkened. Humphrey. With your weak human bodies, if it weren't for the fact that there were so many of you then how would the likes of you have ever suppressed our monster race? Mice can rule the world, but only a lion can be called a king. As for you, you are nothing more than a slightly larger mouse amongst a pack of them. The monster prince said as he pointed at Lin Ming. As a monster that possessed the royal bloodline, the monster prince certainly thought highly of himself. In terms of bloodline alone, 
Out of everyone present, only Jamoxian was on a higher level. However, Jamoxian was not considered a full human. Thus the reason why the monster prince was so boastful with his words. Lin Ming looked at that monster prince like he was a clown and ignored his words. Instead, he turned towards the vast universe heavenly palace disciple and said, This fellow senior apprentice brother, I would like to bet twenty or so nine sun jades on myself to win. Of course you can. Towards Lin Ming, the vast universe heavenly palace treated him with the utmost respect. It wasn't a joke at all. Lin Ming was someone that had climbed up the divine seal altar's thirty-three steps. Although the elders of Vast Universe Heavenly Palace had already proven that Lin Ming had climbed up the Divine Seal Altar using some special method, that was still amazing enough to prove that Lin Ming had infinite potential. Moreover, Lin Ming wasn't rampant at all. This entire time, his behavior had been polite and orderly, and the Vast Universe Heavenly Palace disciple had a very good impression of Lin Ming. He also felt that Lin Ming's strength was far greater than what he had revealed so far. After being ignored by Lin Ming, the monster prince's eyes turned cold as he revealed a thick killing intent. But even so, Lin Ming still didn't bother paying attention to him. He asked that Heavenly Palace disciple, I would like to ask. Does your gambling house accept credit? Um. Credit? The vast universe Heavenly Palace disciple was startled, nearly thinking he had heard wrongly. He looked at Lin Ming again with a strange expression on his face. In his opinion, Lin Ming was an unrivaled genius of his era. While he might not be as rich as an established world king, he should still have more resources available to him than an ordinary great influence. But now, he actually needed to ask for credit from the gambling house to make a bet of twenty-some nine sun jades. This seemed a bit too shabby. Of course, there was no way that he knew Lin Ming already had a loan of seven nine sun jades. Even if Lin Ming were to clean himself of things he could pawn, he still wouldn't be able to raise enough money. Lin Ming could only place his hope on winning some money on a gambling house bet to pay back the debt he owed from buying the boundless world pill. Ha 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 ha. The monster prince raucously laughed. I think you are crazy from being so poor. To borrow money to participate in the gambling house, you are no better than those pathetic and addicted loser gamblers. A beggar like you actually has the same odds as someone like me. That is simply my life's shame. Lin Ming coldly glanced at the monster prince and slowly said, To be matched with a monster like you is also my life's shame. You have no need to shout. We'll fight sooner or later. What? The monster prince shouted, enraged. Monster energy erupted from his entire body. You are courting death. Stop. If you fight here then you will lose all qualifications. The vast universe heavenly palace disciple loudly shouted out. The monster prince forcefully calmed himself down as he glared daggers at Lin Ming. The vast universe heavenly palace disciple sent a sound transmitting talisman to inquire to the office of internal affairs about Lin Ming's request. Finally, their reply was that Lin Ming was allowed to make bets on credit in the gambling house. This was also considered doing Lin Ming a favor. If Lin Ming could win, then that would be due to his own ability, and such an extreme genius was worth winning over. If Lin Ming couldn't win, then Vast Universe Heavenly Palace still didn't lose anything. After reaching this step, Lin Ming was worth far more than something as simple as dozens of nine sun jades. Allowing him to make bets on credit wasn't anything at all. All right. Then I would like to bet fifteen nine sun jades on me reaching the top three. Lin Ming didn't paint himself into a corner with his words, he had simply bet on being in the first three. He still didn't know where the limits of Hank A, Frost Dream, and Jamoxian lay. If he wanted to struggle for first place, the pressure was indeed far too great. Of course, the vast universe Heavenly Palace disciple wrote down Lin Ming's bet. And at this time, the final battles began. Each person would have to fight nine matches. The one with the highest number of wins would be first place on the Heaven Proclamation. Vast Cosmos stood on the center of the arena stage as he announced the beginning of the final tournament. The first match was impressively the Monster Prince stepping on stage. His opponent was not Lin Ming but Hu Zhuan. This was also reasonable. Lin Ming and the Monster Prince were ranked higher in the front, thus they wouldn't meet in the first round of matches. As Hu Zhuan stepped on stage, the Monster Prince glared at him with disdain. What garbage. I don't want to bother fighting the likes of you. I want to fight Lin Ming. Bring Lin Ming on stage. The Monster Prince fervently wished to fight Lin Ming. He wanted to cruelly and ruthlessly beat Lin Ming into the ground. He wanted to use the results of the battle to inform Vast Universe Heavenly Palace's Office of Internal Affairs that placing him on the same level was the stupidest thing they had ever done. After being held in such contempt by the Monster Prince, Hu Zhuan's face was mottled with rage. You go too far. If you have the ability then defeat me before you continue speaking. Humphrey, you garbage. Even if I only use ordinary moves I can still defeat you within five moves. If you don't want to bring about your own destruction then hurry up and admit defeat. I'll allow you to keep whatever pitiful face you have left. Even a clay figure still had three points of earth. And Hu Zhuan was also an extreme genius himself. He originally wasn't too confident in this battle, but after being so humiliated, a raging fire burst out in his heart. With a clear ringing sound he drew his weapon, let's fight. The monster prince simply didn't care at all. He looked over at Vast Cosmos. Vast Cosmos frowned. This fellow was so rampant that it was truly annoying. But, this was an inborn trait of the monster race. Their characters were always well known to all around them. They were vicious, gentle and honest, brutal and crazy, or however else they were born. Their characters were just like those of a wild beast. They didn't conceal their thoughts and emotions as humans did, hiding their true personality. The character of this monster prince was that of an extremely arrogant and wildly brash individual. If you wish to battle Lin Ming, then you can do so in your next match. But, you must finish this match first. Vast Cosmos didn't mind adjusting the order of the matches, 
But since both opponents had stepped on stage, this match had to be finished first. Good. Hehe. <laughs> the monster prince licked his lips as he looked at Hu Zhuan. Consider this your bad luck. I'll instantly beat you down first and then I'll finish off Lin Ming.